Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over the Potato. This is Factory Town. Hello, how you doing? Uh, we're overseeing the iron area at this moment in time, mostly because I want to use it as a springboard to hopefully uh, chat about a whole bunch of different issues that we are uh, that we're seeing around the place. I think everything is in such good condition at the moment, primarily because of this obscene production boost. We have 842 happiness plus 200% production bonus right there. And that's only increasing. That may very well level out at around about 900. Either way, um, in some cases, we're producing things so fast, i.e. in the forge, that we simply cannot use these old crummy belts to continue to move, uh, to continue to move nails. So for that reason, I'm going to quickly just get everything upgraded over here. Now, what do I want to accomplish over the course of this episode? Well, you know, there are definitely uh, there are definitely areas that I want to improve. This forge is one of them, uh, or this forge area is uh, is one of them. We we, uh, we want to make a few tweaks over here just to ensure that production is a little bit more stable, a little bit more consistent. Uh, that's one of the things that I want to do. The other thing that I want to do is perhaps, 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 where is it? Yes, it's down here. Uh, see if we can utilize these metal conveyor belts to hopefully... Uh, turn them into the most advanced type of conveyor belt, which is, I believe, built in a magic forge. Let me just take this down here for reference. Yep, a magic conveyor belt. That is exactly what I'm after. Uh, we do require air power, but to be honest, air power is not such a huge deal given that we do have a supply of air crystals over here that's just sort of sitting around doing absolutely nothing because the uh, mana receiver and the mana transmitter over in this area have not been connected up. So, you know, we actually have we have a, a pretty good supply of, of, uh, of air power whenever, wherever we really need it, to be honest. That being said, I, I feel like making the belt in this vicinity is probably not the craziest idea just because of the just because of the proximity of the uh, of the belt what did we what did we need it was it was literally literally one belt one air power oh actually sorry it's not even an air power it's an air crystal that's a huge difference that is uh, that is completely my bad but to be honest that's that's uh, that's okay too we can we can use those crystals we can use those crystals to we can hopefully use up some of these crystals and turn them into the belt. Okay, you know what? That's that's actually a little bit better for me. Let's let's rock and roll with that. Uh, this forester does this forester really need to stay here? I mean, it doesn't really. It can be moved. It can be moved around a little bit. And to be fair, that's probably what should be done in this instance. Yeah, let's just uh, clean this tree outcropping up a little bit, and then we'll move the forester into position new position over there sure excellent happy with that let's do that like so and what do you know it's all been it's all been reconnected excellent is there any research that we want to do right at this very second to be honest no water purification we can do which i feel like maybe we should do um but in saying that, I don't think that we've got enough water crystals. The downtime between episodes, uh, I let it run for a little bit. I didn't let it run for too, too long. Also, what's the issue over here? Have we got some sort of issue with our train network? Where's my train? Where'd my train go? It's literally here. Uh, and we're out of fuel, apparently. I don't know how that happened. Wait, where's our fuel? Where's our fuel on this route? It's over here? Oh, for good... Really? 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 Are you serious? Are you... Are you actually serious? How the heck did that... I see what the issue is here. I see exactly what the issue is. The issue is, is that there's actually only one point into this silo because of the fact that it's on a... on a bit of a hill. Okay, deliver coal right over there. Yeah, that's... that's a really, really weird niche scenario. But it's okay. I think we... I think we fixed it. Either way, it's going to take us a little while to get our train back to the top of the hill so it can collect a little bit more coal. But that's fine. That is completely fine. All right, back to... Back to... Back to back to back to back to back to here. All right, wonderful. Let's see if we can make... What, two? 
Should we go with two magic forges? Two magic forges seems entirely reasonable. You know what I want to do? I want to move this barn. I want to move this barn somewhere else. Because that is a very, very, very valuable number of belts over there. I'm actually going to plumb in a brand new barn. Upgrade it fully. Now, this is going to put a lot of strain on our resources. It's going to put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of strain on our resources. To be honest, I'm absolutely okay with that happening. If uh, if that's what it if that's what it takes, if that's what it takes, if that's what it does, then that's what it does. It's uh, it's the reality of the situation. You know, we've got a we've got a good a good production potential over here, so it's just about uh, it's just about using it. Okay, do I want to line this up a little bit more symmetrically? Uh, I mean, I would like to do that actually. To be honest, let's ditch a little bit of uh, a little bit of forest. Fine. Move that over there. Excellent. We can just use normal belts, I think. Wonderful. And then we need to find fuel. I mean, is there a fuel line going around here? I mean, I tell you what, for a fuel a fuel line, you can't get much more you can't get much more perfect than uh, than a forester right here, which can supply logs. Now, logs are not a particularly good source of fuel. I mean, to be honest, though. I think that the number that we're going to be able to supply via the Forester here is probably going to be more than enough. Let's give it a shot, right? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if it works. It's going to take 20 seconds to build the conveyor. So actually, it might just work. Might just work. We may need to we may need to up, upgrade the number of trees that can be harvested by this Forester. But that can be done later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Okay, the next... The next irritating, the next irritating thing that we need to get done is we need to find the power line. There we go. It's over here. It is over here. Um, yeah, we're going to just branch off from this power line and bring it over here. So far, so good. And then we see if we can try and bring it down. Yeah, okay. This is This is still in the form of power, which is obviously... I mean, a concern, because I'd like it not to be power. Power is not what we require in this instance. Let me grab a receiver. Okay. Good. Now. No, 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 no. Mana connector. Hey, look at that. Actually, legitimately works. Brilliant. Okay, well, the location that we've taken... That we've taken this down in is is not brilliant, but that's that's okay. We can just about make do. Um, I should ditch this lumber mill as it's not required. I should stick in a barn over here in anticipation for the. There we go. In anticipation for the output. Brilliance. Just like so. Looking very, 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 very good. Happy with that. Uh, and then we just need to find we need to find a way in for our for our belt. I mean, I guess to be honest, we could go in from the front. There's no reason there's no reason really not to go in from the front. It's a little bit crowded over here, but that's that's fine enough. All right, one. Excellent. And across here, and across here. And across there. Wonderful. Good stuff. Okay, retrace our footsteps. That goes forward. And one more arch over here. Just to guarantee that we don't end up messing up the flow of logs into the forge. There we go. That's looking pretty darn decent, if indeed I do say so myself. And that should be, that should be belt production right there. Again, puts a little bit of a strain on our blue coin, our blue coin stockpile. But to be honest, I think that we can live with that. I think that we can definitely live with that. I'm also just going to just transfer an unlimited amount of uh, crystals into this area. Mostly because, I messed that up. Mostly because uh, crystals are something that we can produce in very very large numbers in fact we've already got a super duper large quantity of crystals here what i might do is real quick there we go swap out the barns 
so that we just have a stockpile there and we can't actually we can't actually overspend the number of crystals. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we'll always have like a little bit of a stockpile there, which is uh, which is quite nice. I mean, look, we've got a load of a load of crystals in this belt. Like I'm pretty sure the belt is almost entirely back filled with crystals. Yeah, it it almost entirely is, which is grand, which is grand. Pretty pretty happy with that. Happiness is reaching new heights. That's that's excellent. That's really really good. So, that's belts taken care of. Let's get this upgraded fully so that we don't have to worry about ever maxing out our storage capacity. Crested past 900 happiness. That's very, very good. Uh, oh, yes. Again, I need to I need to check on my train. And my train has definitely stopped. And it's definitely held up the train behind it, which is no good, but that's fine. That's fine. We can we can manually just bump this, bump this locomotive along just a smidgen. There we go. Keep on bumping. Keep on bumping. Thank goodness. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. It's not sexy. It's not good to do. But sometimes it has to be done. Excellent. Right. Fully loaded with all of these water ether things. That upgraded once just to be on the safe side. We don't want to overflow. All right. There we go. Excellent. Pretty happy with that. And that should be production restored. We only have 200 water crystals, which sounds like quite a lot, doesn't it? But actually, in comparison to the other types of crystals, it's the it's the type that we've got the, the least of without a shadow of a doubt, to be honest. Without a shadow of a doubt. Either way, uh, just returning to the fuel over here. Yeah, the wagon can definitely get through now, which is which is pretty great. Pretty happy with that. We still, by the way, have 100 workers left to throw into various employment positions and so far nothing has really nothing has really struck me oh oh video game you were doing so well all right there we go try again there we go wonderful okay so now that should be a little bit more consistent fuel wonderful we only need, like, what, five logs? Yeah, it's only five logs per conveyor belt, so we should manage just fine. Um, I feel like maybe adding a steam booster would not be the craziest thing in the world. Again, I, I throw around the steam booster uh, a little bit. I, I really do. Um, I treat it... I treat it like it's a... Like it's an endless supply of steam. It's, it's not an endless supply of steam. We should see if we can try and redouble our... Redouble our steam. There we go. Either way, that'll give us a little bit of a steam boost, which will help from time to time. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, it's not an endless supply. Certainly, the amount of water that we're getting in is not even enough for near continuous production, which is kind of crazy. But there you go. It's because of the production bonus. It's because of the production bonus that things are looking so good in the world of steam generation. And to be fair, do I really care about? Do I really care about having a perfect, a perfect steam record? No, you know what? I don't think I actually do. I don't think I actually do. It's it's totally fine. Either way, that is going to be the magic forge. It's it's going. Happy days. It's looking good. That's already 55 of the finest belts uh, around that we've accumulated. Now this belt can't actually be sold, which is just something to consider. Uh, but maybe I would if I if I could, but unfortunately I can't, so I won't. Now, red coins, red coins, red coins, red coins. For what we improved in yellow coins in the last... Why the heck is this not working now? Where's our... Where's our... Uh, yeah, where's our cloth production gone? Oh, this is horrific. Why on earth has our cloth production just disappeared? Presumably because more of a stress has been placed on the workshop over here, I presume. Yeah, I feel like we need yet even more cloth or uh, or cotton or or wool or something. Either way, uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. What I did for blue coins in the last episode, unfortunately, seemingly has been undone by the weakness of the red coin. Red coins primarily are acquired through the uh, through the general store so you know what 
I think maybe this is a good opportunity. The pickaxe, the pickaxe is definitely something that we could sell. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've actually got a lot of pickaxes. We actually have a disgustingly large number of pickaxes here. You know what? I, I don't actually hate that. I don't actually hate that. Right. How would be the best way of delivering... Delivering pickaxes to this general store? Because I think... I, I legitimately think that that is something that I'm interested in uh, in doing. Right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a copy of the barn over there. Copy this out here. And into there. Excellent. Okay. So that's going to be a barn. Just like so. The next thing that I think I want to do, this may seem a little bit obscene, um, is to make a is to make a road, which goes oh flipping egg potato you dingus, reconnected crisis averted thank goodness, uh, I want to make a road which goes sort of all the way over here. Don't know where I built a bit of belt there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, basically goes all the way over to this area over here. Because I was thinking, you know what? We don't actually have... We don't actually have any, like, road connections on key routes. Probably for, you know, a fairly good reason. But I was thinking that it might be... It might be worth uh, thinking about that. It might be worth setting that up. I mean, we've got these caravans, right? They do, you know, they do take workers. But at the same time, it's pretty fun. It's pretty funky. It's pretty fresh. Right, so here's what we're going to do. Two caravans, for now anyway. Are we able to... Yeah, we've got we've got, uh, got pickaxes in there. Okay, let's drag these pickaxes to the base. Excellent. Do we have space in the base? We've got space in the base. Wonderful. Are we going to wait for a full load here? We may very well end up waiting for a full load. Honestly, totally fine. Totally, totally fine. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a janky route, but to be honest, again, it adds a little bit of variety, adds a little bit of complexity, adds a little bit of interest to the town. A little bit of interest, a little bit of intrigue. Right? Can we see pickaxes yet? No. We need to wait until we see pickaxes actually, uh, actually arriving in the base, and then we're going to dispatch them to the general store, and that's going to solve our problem short term. Uh, the problem long term, I'm hoping, will be sorted by adding cloak production. Now, cloak production. What does that actually require? Cloak production is just cloth and leather. I mean, that's actually really easy to do. That's actually really, really easy to do. That is... That is legitimately easy to do. I mean, we've got a farm that produces, like, a lot of cotton over there. It's unfortunately not enough. I mean, oh, I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do, folks. I tell you what we could do. We need to get cotton over to this workshop or a workshop around this vicinity, which is going to get boosted uh, with regards to cloth production. However, 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 you know what we've got? You know what we've now got, which I've just so far neglected to even consider using? That's right. It's a flipping magic conveyor belt. That's right. Uh, is this the one that I want to be upgrading? Yes, I want to be upgrading. No, I want to be upgrading this one. It's the better one. There we go. Excellent. Okay, this may very well take all of my, all of my magical belt, but that's okay. I can always get more magical belt in the future if that's required. Okay, good so far. Excellent. Okay, will that make a difference? Will that make a difference? That's a full belt. That's a full blue belt there. That is a, that is a lot of cotton coming down into the silo over here. Yeah, this silo needs to output fully blue belt as well, actually. Okay, I've just ended up doofing that up tremendously. But that's fine. Nah, don't even worry about it. Cool. There we go. So that's much, much better. That should give us almost close to 100% cloth production coming in just from cotton. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. That is pretty darn good. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And that will lead to more consistent... In fact, that will lead to entirely consistent medicinal wrap, medical wrap production 
thing about medical wraps is that they're actually quite important because now that we're using these blue coins in order to make uh, what is it in order to make these forges we're using a lot of blue coins actually we're using a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of blue coins anyway so that's so that's that we're currently piping in a heck of a lot more cotton over here um, is it enough to be happy ie am I gonna be able to run another cloth workshop off this I feel like the answer to that is is no um, I feel like I should just maybe cut my losses with regards to that cloth workshop and see if I can and see if I can build a brand new area that is focused on producing cotton and producing these shirts so we need a cloth workshop we've actually got a cloth workshop already but that's fine okay cotton into cloth brilliant this is gonna get filled in because why on earth would it not be filled in this is the middle of the middle of nowhere excellent looking very very good of course until I make a catastrophic mistake like that where you end up manipulating the land so much that it uh, that it is twisted cool all right so two workshops over here where's the nearest farm that I can copy probably over here almost certainly wasn't but that's fine right farm over here wonderful we are going to be farming exclusively cotton Let's get some farm tiles down. I mean, farm tiles are just brilliant, aren't they? They really are just incredible. To be honest, that'll probably be enough. Let's roll with uh, let's roll with that. We've actually got quite a lot of space over here, which I didn't really account for. We'll supply water. We won't supply fertilizer. There's no real need to supply uh, fertilizer. Right, one, two. One, two. Excellent. We supplying water, brilliant. Let's just add the cotton plants. And what do you know? Before you know, we should have we should have a full a full cotton farm. Cotton plantation? I don't know. It'll be ready to rock and roll. It'll be ready to go. Right, then we're gonna just output all of that into Do I see wanna see if I can output it into like a couple? Maybe I can output it into a couple of uh, of warehouses. Warehouses, workshops, you get the picture. The other thing that I was going to inquire, is it possible for cotton to roll? I mean, I feel like I would have discovered this if indeed it was the case. Although my idiocy does know, frankly, no bounds. So let's do an experiment. It's possible for cotton to roll. Okay, I, I'm just an idiot. I, I am just legitimately an idiot. Either way... That's fine. Okay, let's wait until more cotton is online, and then we're going to crank up the number of workers that we have here. We may very well need more cotton plants, or alternatively, it might be judged at some point later down the uh, later down the line that we need to get uh, a fertilizer input into the farm. I mean, that's fine. We can we can deal with that if that's if that's required. Anyway, that's a decent amount of wool. Let's see if we can actually output this wool. Let's make it a normal production process. You know, a lot has doesn't it doesn't roll really really it doesn't roll okay yeah let's get it uh, let's make a decent how is that not no oh. not even yeah I don't know don't know why it wasn't even there you go okay so that's looking good that's looking really really good let's get that upgraded to the max and let's let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is the workshop that we need to get leather in for. I mean, do we have leather production? We do actually have leather production just across the just across the way here. Oh, that's that's tantalizing. That is very 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 exciting, isn't it? That is hugely exciting. Is it better for me to produce is it better for me to produce it over at this side or move production over to that side and just move the move the uh, the cloth? Uh, you know what? Let's let's move this forward a little bit and we'll do a little bit of both. We'll do a little bit of both. Let's get let's get cloth straight because I presume that we're going to want to make more cloaks in the future. We're also going to want to make more uh, more of these. Where are they? You know the one that I'm talking about. Warm coats. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to want to make more of those. Are we still not able to provide enough water to this area? Really? 
I am, I am actually shocked. Right, let me see if I can tweak this just a smidgen. Because making sure that we've got, you know, a decent amount of leather is, is actually pretty key too. Yeah, it's actually really key. Right, give that a shot. See if that makes any difference. Yeah, that looks much better. That looks much, 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 much better. Okay, so even a little tweak there to the consistency uh, of leather produced. Not the consistency of leather, but, you know, you get the you get the picture. Uh, that's going to make a big difference. Right, this pasture over here is literally only responsible for producing leather, which is maybe, maybe part of the reason why I prefer it. But whatever the case, let's move out of here. Let's say item filter, leather, excellent. Um, yep, and then we're just gonna, we're gonna increase the, we're gonna increase the height as much as we possibly can. There we go. And do I want to, I do. I want to do exactly that. Okay. Nice. That's looking not too bad. Looks a little bit janky, but that's fine. Uh, yep. And then we'll just come down. We'll just come down the side. Oh, of course, there's uh, this grain right there. It doesn't really need to be around anymore. To be honest, once you've got the ability to plant crops, you don't really need to use anything that's in the world. Okay, so that is that is one. That is one singular. That is one singular cloak production area, production zone. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so that's good. Do we just want to transport this via caravan? Also, I need to move pickaxes. Deliver pickaxes. Yep, I didn't get that set up last time, but now I do. Uh, now I did do that. Excellent. Why are we not moving pickaxes? Why the heck are we not moving pickaxes? What the heck is going on? Why are we not moving pickaxes? How is this not possible? Okay, it's possible to get to there. Is it possible to get to here? No? Have I doofed something up here? I mean, this looks like a very navigatable track to me. Oh my goodness gracious me. What the heck is this illegal maneuver? What the heck is this illegal maneuver? I... Do not think that I've ever seen a maneuver so illegal. Ah, did you, video game. You've disappointed me with this, with this revelation here. This is a big pain in the backside. Right, now I may have to reconfigure the overground belt. Uh, if indeed... It doesn't want to work. Anyway, let me try again. That looks good. That looks really good. Okay. I mean, look, the fact that this is the fact that this that this pickaxe situation is being transported with caravans, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a nuisance. Um, we should maybe think about changing that. I mean, look, caravans have already proven how rubbish they are. Drop off caravans. Uh, pickaxe is there. Yep. Great. Pick up pickaxe is there. Yep. Deliver to the general store. Good. Go. Now you're having issues delivering to the general store. What the heck? How is this happening? What? Oh, I see. I see. I see. We're not actually delivering directly to the general store. We're delivering to the silos over here. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that then with the pickaxes. Let's do that with the pickaxes. Okay. That, that one's on me, video game. I'm sorry. Okay, pickaxes, excellent. We're going to get a pickaxe silo over here. Roger that. Pickaxes, excellent. We're going to get one, two pickaxes, not apple pie. And pickaxes. Excellent. You can go. You can go. I tell you what, maybe I can just supply directly. Can I supply directly to... Can I supply directly to that silo right there? No, probably not. Okay, look, that's fine. We just have to go indirectly to this silo right here. Okay, thankfully, we're able to make this work. That's that's brilliant. Very, very happy with that. Very, 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 very happy with that. 
By the way, the number of workers in this workshop can be reduced right down. There's no reason to keep it that high. We're starting to draw down in our cloth conveyor belt. Uh, backlog, stockpile, whatever. There we go. That should uh, have us producing cloth conveyor belts slightly, slightly more speedily. Anyway, are we now moving? Are we now moving pickaxes into the uh, into the general store? I certainly hope that that is the case. We're gonna see happiness spike in just a second. Wait for it. It's coming. Look at all this happiness. It's all coming. Everyone wants a pickaxe. Everyone wants a pickaxe. To be honest, and I want everyone to have a pickaxe. I want everyone to have a pickaxe. Okay, so that's half the battle. The other half of the battle is... Cloaks. Into a barn over here. Is it, is it that easy for a cloak? I thought I got an achievement for a cloak, to be honest. Uh, and I didn't see that achievement come through, so... Oh, it's a magic cloak that we need to create. Not just a regular cloak. Well, how do I create a magical cloak? Presumably an enchanter, right? A magic cloak is... It's just garbage. It sells for nothing. Why would I care about a magic cloak? To be brutally honest. Right, what's the issue over here? It's, it's a feed... It's a feed supply issue. Man, you need so much animal feed. You need so much animal feed in order to in order to get decent returns from farms. You really, really do. You need a heck of a lot. Right, so that's looking slightly better. It's not gonna it's not gonna make a dramatically different result, but it's gonna be fine. Uh, right, so, what's the last piece of the puzzle? Do we want to just sell these cloaks as is? I feel like the answer is yes. We probably just sell the cloaks as is. It's another... It's another piece of the puzzle, isn't it? Right. Get a brand new silo over here. Let's say... Cloaks. Yeah, I don't know, why the, uh, by the way, why I'm so happy to let, where's the, the entrance is, is this able to output, this is able to output into the, the entrance is right there, can we output into the entrance, I feel like it might be slightly different for, like, general buildings, or special buildings like this, but, as a course of habit, I don't want to, I don't want to output, I don't want to put things in through the entrance, just seems like a like a bad play. Okay, cloaks, cloaks, excellent. Yeah, I was waiting to say, I don't know why I seem to be delivering all of my general goods via caravan. I guess it's just a little bit, it's a little bit funky, it's a little bit fresh, isn't it? Something, something a little bit different, something a little bit new, something a little bit wacky. Alright, building a little pillar system so that I can build a little bridge here. There we go. It looks very, very nice. Very, very respectable. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a friendly little friendly little bypass sort of thing. Right, caravan. We need two of them. Number one to there. Everything is going to go via the base. Again, what is this? What is with this? What is with this irritating decision to not do the roads properly? Okay, that looks much better. And then this caravan will be dispatched uh, to the other side as soon as, as soon as it's required. All right. Again, it's leather that is the issue. I really am. I'm at my wit's end. I have no idea how we can boost our boost our grain production even further. Maybe, maybe upgrading these belts is the way forward. Doesn't really feel like it, to be honest. Uh, we'll see if it makes a difference. We're already outputting three massive shoots worth of grain. It's a lot of grain. 
Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's get the caravan dispatched from this side over here. Cloaks. Yep. Right over there. Brilliant. One, two. Is two enough, by the way? I, I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Excellent. Okay, good stuff. We got any cloaks yet? No, not yet. It'll be coming. It'll be coming. Don't you worry. Okay, this area is going to get upgraded. We're going to turn this area into a sort of pavilion. I mean, it's only trucks that are driving on it, really. We're not, we're not, we're not having people walk around these parts. So, that's cool. Very, very, very happy with that. Uh, more and more leather, please. More and more and more and more and more leather. And again, we've run out of... We've run out of water. That's a... That's a blooming, a blooming shame. All right. Well, you know what? I think we need to start utilizing the... The pipe network a lot more. The fluid duct pipe system, anyway. Because... What the heck was that? That was a disaster. Because we got all of this extra water... Got all of this extra water, and we're not really using it. Okay, upgrade the pasture, upgrade the pasture, upgrade the pasture. Don't upgrade it again. But know that I want to. I also could increase dramatically the number of workers that we have uh, in the pasture, but that's, uh, that's not a big deal. To be honest, I feel like maybe we just require... Maybe require we require more shoots into this barn. I mean, this seems insane, but I think this is what I'm going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Right. We're going to build an arch system, which is probably just my favorite way of... I was going to say manipulating the game, but that's not really the case. It's not really an illegal maneuver. It's, uh, it's entirely, it's entirely allowable. Right. Over here. Excellent. Okay. So that's a free extra belt, basically, in place over there. We are harvesting grain so unbelievably fast that this is kind of freaky. Right. More arch systems. Brilliant. And then... Brilliant, just like so. Excellent. Oh no 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 no. See, that's why I say brilliant, 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 as if I'm talking to myself, which I absolutely am. Um, it's because if I don't say that, then something dreadful happens, and if something dreadful happens, it's it's just soul destroying, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just doing a little bit of the manual building here, just to make sure that everything works before we add the extra shoots. Because let's be, let's be real, right? Once this has been added, it's going to be very, very difficult to change. Because of the, uh, the sheer complexity of the situation over here. Alright, so that is a very, very, very busy farm. And we didn't need to compromise any of our grain in order to, in order to get it into a good situation. In order to increase our output of grain. I mean, this is, this is just about as maxed as it gets, I think. I don't think that we can do anything else. An earth booster, add an earth booster to to bump up the charge rate. To be honest, I mean, what are the chances? What are the chances of getting an earth booster over here? Do we have... We do have a little earth network. I kind of want to do it, to be honest. I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. Okay, you know what? This is a... This is a bad hobby. A bad... A bad thing to do. I, I realize... I realize that I shouldn't be doing this. But I'm going to do it nonetheless. The reason that I'm going to do it is it is actually important. I also want to see how far we can push this one singular farm. All right. Earth boost. Away. Excellent. Okay. Add the earth booster. We're at speed 3000 at this moment in time. Let's wait until we see the earth power arrive. Oh, that was with the earth power. Okay. Well, we're up to 3300. Hmm. Okay. So that isn't actually that worthwhile in my humble opinion. I mean, look, we should be adding boosters where we see fit. Like there should not be a there should not be a um you know, you know, a a maximum number of earth boosters that we should get, but you know, in saying that, we're probably not going to want to get earth boosters 
like flipping everywhere. Also, the game seems to have bugged out. I'm um, okay. I was I was building earth boosters permanently there apparently. Let's crank up the number of workers in each of these mills. There we go. Already you can see that it's probably far too probably far too many workers. Especially in these mills over here. There we go. One is fine in these two that only have one singular input. Uh, and then these two, to be honest, can probably be taken down to something like three each. You know, we've got 70, 70 workers to spend, but that's not an excuse to to just overspend. Either way, the amount of the amount of grain that we've got coming in here is is quite incredible. Uh, it's really, really quite something. I am going to upgrade this belt right here. There we go. And hope that that gives us enough grain in this pasture. This pasture also doing a great amount of work, but still isn't still isn't able to cope with all of the demand. There's still not enough animal feed going in there. How, how crazy is that? That's kind of obscene. Yeah. I mean, is it worth me seeing if I can try to get uh, trying to get another farm, like another entire farm to do grain production just set up over here? I mean, truthfully, it feels like that is just about the only option that I have in order to address this this grain issue. I mean, we need so much grain for our uh, for our grain mill. It's it's actually kind of actually kind of ridiculous. All right. Uh, let's get that sorted. Oh, you twit potato. You total twit, total twit. What I meant to do was that. Excellent. Is that all the same level? That is all the same level. It's just a little bit difficult to see because of the, because of the grass. Okay, harvest the grain, supply water, supply fertilizer. We'll get the fertilizer uh, supply set up in a little bit. But suffice to say, here's what we're going to do. All right, this needs to be brought down. Excellent. And then, can we see... If we can get that in there. Does that make any difference? That looks... That looks like it just clogs things up. That looks like it just clogs things up, to be honest. There we go. Um, I mean, uh, do we want to get another input? I mean, we can't stack the inputs any higher, to be honest. Uh, we could maybe just get, like, an extra half input over here. That would be allowable, I think. There we go. So that will technically increase one of the, one of the belts, which will maybe give us a little bit more production. I don't think there's any other way. I don't think that there is any other flippin' way that we can get more grain into this... into this barn. I think it would have to be a separate barn over here, dealing with these two grain mills. Because I suspect that this barn with a farm at full production can deal with these three grain mills, each with three people in. I mean, it's holding steady. It's holding steady. We're in a good place. You know, we're in a good place. I don't want to... I don't want to, don't want to deceive you. We're in a very, very good place, for sure. Okay, so what else, what else do we need to do as a matter of priority? It's a good question, to be honest. Um, I mean, I would love a little bit more consistent leather production going into this cloak workshop. It does take two bits of leather, which is rather a large amount of leather, but, um, but that's fine, to be honest. That's totally fine. I mean, maybe it's worth setting up an additional grain farm over here, but uh, but to be honest, I think yeah, we're holding steady. We're holding steady over here. Let's upgrade the barn to the max, and that should be fine. Um, Pickaxe-wise, we do have a good number of pickaxes. They're being sold as well. I'm a little bit worried that just we're running out of red coins, and that, that that's still happening, you know? Uh, a shoe? 
How do we make shoes? I didn't even know that shoes were a thing. Frankly, I've not even looked. I've not even looked. How do we make shoes? Are they... Are they Dutch shoes? Are they... Wooden shoes? They're... Okay, no, they're, they're actual shoes. They're actual leather shoes. I mean, look, this again introduces the... The element of, uh, the element of grain and grain feed. It's, it's a quandary. It, it really, really is. I mean, if it's literally just leather, well, it's not actually just leather, it's nails as well. Oh, flippin' egg. Nails are, I don't think that we're building any nails other than over here, and we're not in a position to move leather up here. Um... I don't think so anyway. This would be a good a good opportunity to duel the track and get multiple tracks running up and down here because then I could put in a I could put in a a workshop over here and a little a little pasture. But even if I was to do that, I would still need to supply the pasture with grain feed, animal feed stuff, which is why I I feel like it's got to be it's got to be around here. We do have a little iron deposit which maybe would make for a nice little Maybe we'd make for a nice little nail production area. I tell you what, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Okay, let's give this a shot. This is going to be the most janky, the most, 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 most janky setup that you will ever see me do. To be honest, I, uh, I'm i proud of that. I'm proud of that. Okay, so stone needs to come out of here. That's not how you spell stone, potato. That's how you spell stone. Excellent. Okay, stone comes out of there. Uh, and then we're going to also add on iron ore production, which is going to cost yet more red coins. So that's a, that's a sad state of affairs that that's not good. Not good at all. Okay. Excellent. Is that iron? No, that's not iron. Iron ore. Brilliant. Okay. Now that should be iron. I think it's iron. Okay, it's very, very difficult to tell the difference between stone and iron. Okay, that is definitely iron now. Brilliant. Okay, so grab a forge. Now, the forge is going to be powered. The forge is going to be powered. Is there... Okay, this is the first thing that I've got to inquire about. Is there an underground source of coal nearby? There's an underground source of stone. Iron, iron, coal. Uh, okay. An underground source of coal is not forthcoming. Now, we could prospect for coal. Can we do that? Is that possible? Is it not possible? Let's find out. Uh, farming and mining. Prospect for coal. I mean, that's what I'm interested in. That's what I'm very much interested in. So, yeah, if we're able to prospect for coal, like, in this location or round about here, that would be great. But that still means that we need the Omni Planter, don't we? I mean, what are the chances? What are the chances that I manage to get the Omni Planter? I, uh, I, I don't rate, I don't rate my success overly highly. We need the the Omni Planter research in order to get that. I mean, that's probably not going to be coming our way anytime soon. We uh, we need so many Omni Crystals. Uh, it's a uh, that's a big old that's a big old pain in the backside. So we gotta we gotta get our fuel source some other way. Yeah, for the forge again. I guess we could use the. I guess we could use the forester over here and create some sort of a, a shoot system. That maybe isn't the worst idea that I've ever had, actually. Yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't hate that. I don't hate that uh, at all. So, leather, yes, good so far. Forge, let me grab a forge blueprint or a forge copy. Excellent. Um, is there any reason that this is a barn? Uh, no, that's not sensible. Uh, doesn't need to be a barn at all. So that goes in there. We forge nails. Excellent. And then we just link up the forester, right? It's literally that simple, isn't it? It's literally that simple. Cool. All right. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Looks good to me. Forge is going to get a forging, which means that all we need to do is provide a little bit of a little bit of leather, and we move the nails across here, like so. Let's make sure that there is plenty of clearance. There we go. Excellent. Reverse. And can we just go straight down? Yeah, we'll just go straight down. 
right over that direction. So I think that that still allows the caravan to get through. It absolutely does. Excellent. Good to see. Very, very good to see. Okay, let's get the nails. Let's get the nails sorted. Let's crank up the number of workers in the mine. That's looking good. Nails taken care of. Let's split from... Where, where do we want to split from? I guess we'll split from this line over here. I don't love doing that, to be honest, but... That's okay. Right, leather is what's going to come out of here. And just like that, what do you know? We've got ourselves... We got ourselves a process. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit perturbed at the lack of grain that is still going into here. So you know what? Let's see if we can juice this up with a, with a hot, spicy new belt. The hottest, the spiciest, the newest belt. All right. Good stuff. That looks very, very respectable to me. Pretty happy about that. Uh, is it enough? I don't... Oh, it's not... Okay, it's not enough because of this little, uh, little bit of... Little bit of metal belt that was just hanging around over there. But now this should be pretty continuous... Pretty continuous feed delivery. Excellent. And the pasture can be upgraded one final time. If indeed we want to. Or alternatively, if we want to throw in however many... However many, uh, however many additional workers. That's eh, not a problem. Okay, I'm going to grab a crate here. Just to be on the safe side. To make sure that we've got a little bit of a buffer there. Shoes. Right over yonder. Let's grab ourselves two more caravans. Because what the heck. Workers, caravans. One, two. Excellent. We'll go from here to here. Good stuff. Does it need to be, does it need to be terrain modified, this area? Yeah, we should probably change the terrain just a smidgen. Mana reactor, let's move that around. That was very, very trippy. Let's dual that. All right, this is looking, this is looking solid, to be honest. This is looking really, really solid. Deliver shoes. We want to deliver shoes to a silo over here. Again, is, is a silo a particularly efficient way of delivering resources? I mean, no. But again, you know, I want to stress that the whole point of setting it up like this is so that we can is so that we can eventually like just introduce a train to this system and end up accelerating flipping everything to like a million miles an hour. All right. Copy minecarts. Yep. One, two. Shoe and a shoe. Excellent. You can go. You can go. What do you know? All looks good to me. And then we get one caravan that is still chilling around doing absolutely nothing. Deliver the shoe to there. It's that simple. Okay, do we have anything backlogged? A lot. Not really. Three warm coats. That's fine. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing else really that needs to be moved out in large quantities. Yeah, I think we're totally fine. We're totally fine with this situation. A little bit low on the old blue coins. A little bit low on the old red coins, but... Uh, I mean, frankly, there's not much that we can do about that other than what we've already done, and we have done as much as we possibly can. This this pasture, it just needs more. It just needs it just needs more grain. You know, more animal feed, should I say. And more water, actually. Which is kind of crazy to consider. Right. Let's see if we can get some wells over here. In fact, you know what? Don't do the wells over here, potato. That's a pretty bad, pretty bad place to do them. Do them over here. The reason that I'm suggesting over here is that gives us the opportunity to connect up uh, water. There we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent. Right in there. Right in there. Right in there. Good job. Good, 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 good job. Okay, the pasture's now looking a whole lot better and should allow us to get as much leather as we need to out of this system. Let's throw in the last upgrade. What the heck? Let's throw in as many workers as we possibly can. I mean, this is the dream, right? The dream is that we're able to, like, continually, continually produce leather from this pasture. But unfortunately, we just need, we just need, we just need more grain. That's the crazy thing. That's the crazy thing. That's the crazy thing. 
Uh, this farm, to be honest, isn't really making that much of a difference. Also, I've destroyed all of the grain. So... I think what we need to do, actually, what we need to do is just... Is just redo... Is redo this area a little bit. Redo this area a little bit. With entrances from... Okay, this is gonna be very, very expensive. Oh, actually, it's yellow coins that are used to remove, uh... To remove resources. So that is totally fine in my books. All right. Down a level, down a level, down a level. Excellent. Okay, let's get this farm sort of re-equipped. Re-equipped to handle the situation. We're gonna literally go for a very, very similar setup. I know it's not like hyper efficient, but it's fine enough for now anyway. Get that. Do we need to remove these resources? Yeah, I do actually need to remove these resources. Okay, shoots. Let's get shoots all the way down into a barn over here. There we go. That looks very, very respectable. Get another grain mill. Mm. You know what? I think that we can sustain another grain mill here. Another grain mill producing animal feed. Yeah. We're just going to have to use, like, much, much faster belts. That's the... That's what we're going to need to do. The grabber... Uh, that grabber needs to stay there. Nothing else needs to stay there. That's totally fine. Okay, let's get the shoot system set up in the first instance. So we need to get an output over there, an output over there, output over there, output over there, output over there. It's not even, but it doesn't need to be. And an output over there. Okay, then we do this. We do this. And we do this. The progress is, is blistering. All right, 10 workers, maximum speed. Farming, farm tile. Excellent. Thankfully, this is all yellow coins, which is, which is great. We probably do not need anywhere near this number of farm tiles, but it'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. Okay, next. Let's do grain. Wonderful. And then we're going to see if we can try and inject a little bit of fertilizer. I feel like maybe maybe I should be using like smaller farms as opposed to like monstrously large farms. Smaller farms that are just like that just get a little bit of extra fertilizer. Is that on a incline there? It looks like it's on an incline. It's funny cuz that is definitely not on an incline. All right, well, whatever, I guess. Uh, all of the grain is about to be is about to be grown, and as soon as the grain is grown, everything is going to pop off here, and it's going to work. It's going to work like a charm. There we go. Yeah, no, can't build on an uneven terrain there. Okay, good. Starting to get a large, 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 large number. Of bits of grain coming in here and look at that the animal feed situation is going to improve tremendously all right grab some wooden arches just for reference and hopefully we're going to be able to create a very very similar system of support over here excellent uh yep we'll drag oh we can't drag that back we're gonna need to we're going to need to build it in. We're going to need to build it in. It's fine, though. We can just about do that. Just about manage. Excellent. Looking good to me. Right, so over to here. Brilliant. And then... Ooh. How does that work? Eh, not well, actually. You know what? Let's just fill in this area. Again... Err on the side of caution with this with this setup. Cause it can it can go wrong and all it takes is like one single issue to completely destroy to completely destroy the mood. There we go. Okay, so with that, we've got the double barn the double barn situation. Let's get these barns upgraded to maximum maximum level. Are we maxing out everything here? 
think we're maxing out absolutely everything. Okay, let's see if we can speed up this belt. This is the fastest that this belt is going to go, unfortunately. There is no way that we can make it faster. There we go. Excellent. I mean, that is that is just about that is just about as fast as we can get. I would anticipate that we will be totally fine on the on the feed front. Uh, if we're not, I will be I will be shocked. It will be genuinely very very surprising. This pasture is outputting a decent amount of leather now. It's just this pasture over here that is that is proving to be the sticking point in this whole operation. Irritatingly, uh, is that something that I want to rectify? I feel like it is something that I want to rectify. You know what? Let's rectify this really quickly. I appreciate that, you know, we're an hour in, etc. But, uh, but that's fine. Right. Super easy fix to this, to this system. We're going to upgrade this belt. We're going to take a cut of this belt around. There we go. Round here. It's a little bit messy, but that's absolutely a-okay. Uh, yep. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible place to put in that ramp. And absolutely did not mean to do it there. I meant to do it here. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, now we go across. Now we go up. Now we go along this way. Let's get a nice reference brick over there just to make sure that we don't interfere with the height of the boats too, too much. And continue to bring the magic conveyor around up let's not bother messing around with the well excellent delete that well what do you know okay i say let's not bother messing around with the well and then immediately mess around with the well so that's a bit of a bit of a misplay on my part but that's fine right now i need a splitter if possible please we got a splitter anywhere we do indeed splitter right in there good stuff okay so it's not going to be a full belt I don't think that there is any way around that. Unfortunately, it's just one of these... It's just one of these things that we're going to have to endure. I mean, maybe we could get a... Splitter in here. Which will maybe increase the capacity just a little bit. But to be honest, it should be enough to keep the... To keep the pasture continuously working. Yeah. Even with that little, little extra boost there, that's going to make a big old difference. Yeah. The workshop still needs... Still needs uh, still needs a little bit more leather to to give us continuous production. However, I think that we've I think that we've managed to get this under control. We're selling shoes now. That's looking really really good. Obviously, this will require a lot of further optimization, but it's not bad. It's not bad for a first uh, for a first attempt at just like adding a whole bunch of extra production processes or whatever. Also, the grain area is is looking super good. I mean, look at this. Look at these look at these chunky shoots. Look at these chunky shoots. This is brilliant. Man, this looks good. You know what? We're going to have to continue this in the next episode, ladies and gents. It's been a real pleasure to play Factorio. Not Factorio. Factory Town for you today. Uh, you know, whenever I say Factory Town, I just want to think Factorio. And then, you know, I, I go ahead and say something stupid like that. And prove that I really have no brain. Anyway, folks, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Factory Time. As ever, thanks to fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash shop potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nana Nana and C-Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very, very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.